If you're into arbitrage or just thinking about getting into it, this video will save you a ton of time and money. Today, I'm going to tell you about a must-have tool for any Arbitrajura so-called arbitrage scanner. It's not just a website, it's your personal radar that works 24 7 while you're sleeping, eating or scrolling through TikTok. So let's dive in and see why this is a must-have tool for any arbitrageur. Alright, let's get to the service tree. Let's head over to the arbitrage scanner. You can find the link in the description of our YouTube channel. Go to our channel and click on the more tab. That's where you'll find the link to the arbitrage scanner. We also have a Telegram channel, so make sure to subscribe there as well so you don't miss any new videos. Now, let's go to the arbitrage scanner. Why is this the best tool for crypto arbitrage? Because it has everything you need for crypto arbitrage, plain and simple. Here we have analytics for perpetuals, meaning futures arbitrage, funding analytics and spot arbitrage. Everything you need for arbitrage is available here. There's also on-chain analysis, wallet analytics, you can analyze wallets and perform on-chain analysis. Sentiment analytics is also available. That is, you can analyze the sentiment for a particular token of the market, see what people are saying in chat, so of this can be done here. There's an NFT scanner and much more. It's a really great site. I use it myself, which is why I'm recommending it to you. And today we're going to review it. What can you do here? We're interested in arbitrage. So let's go to the arbitrage product tab. Registering is also as simple as possible. Just use your email. Login and use this service. There are also subscriptions here, which we'll discuss later. But for now, let's move on to the actual tool review. Click on arbitrage perpetuals. Accordingly, this is for futures arbitrage. We can do arbitrage on futures, meaning we buy on spot and short on futures, capturing the price difference. There are videos about futures arbitrage on our channel, so check them out and subscribe so you don't miss new uploads. Watch this video until the end. Let's go. White filters. Let's open the additional filters and what can we set up here? First of all, we can set a minimum amount. Let's say we have a certain amount we want to use for arbitrage, let's say 500 bucks. You can do 2,000, even 3,000, it doesn't matter. Here you can set the amounts you want to put into the trade. Next, we have the minimum profit. So the minimum profit is how much you want to earn, 1%. And the maximum profit is say 20%, you can earn up to 20%. You can specify all of this here. Next is the whitelist, whitelist currencies. What is this? These are the tokens you want to arbitrage. You can enter specific tokens separated by commas that you're interested in, for example, BTC Ethereum, and you'll only see arbitrage opportunities for BTC and Ethereum. Here you can filter the currencies that interest you. There's also a blacklist. This works the other way around. Here you enter the currencies you don't want to come across. Okay, let's move on. Here we specify the exchanges where we buy. You can select all exchanges or only the ones you use. For example, if you don't have an account on Coinbase, naturally you can remove Coinbase and Coinbase will no longer appear among the exchanges where you can buy tokens exchanges for say here accordingly we specify the exchanges where we sell again if you don't use certain exchanges you can remove them from here and select only the exchanges you actually use next is the strategy tab here we select the strategy we want to use for arbitrage spot plus futures futures plus spot or futures plus futures these will be shown to us based on the selected strategy you can also select all of them and you'll see all available opportunities across different strategies next is minimal lifetime in seconds here we specify the lifetime of a deal how long it remains active if this matters to you you can set for example, 10 seconds so that the deal lasts at least 10 seconds. You can also set a maximum, for example, 50 so that the deal lasts no more than 50 seconds. And within this range, you will be shown deals that last from 10 to 50 seconds. Minimal funding profit. Here we display the funding profit, meaning we can earn from funding by holding a futures position every eight hours. Funding will be paid out to us. Here we can specify the minimum profit from this funding. And we can also set the maximum profit that is the maximum amount we want to earn from funding. Usually funding isn't super high, 3% is, in my opinion, pretty much the ceiling. Well, yes, sometimes it can be a bit higher, but 3% is really wow. And next, we can set the minimum price profit. The minimum price profit is, accordingly, how much profit we want to pocket for ourselves. For example, 1% as the minimum profit, and the maximum profit or much profit we want to take at most again, 20%. That's it, we've set it up, and now the trades are displayed here. We click update every 5 seconds, for example. At the moment, there are no trades that match these settings. So. Let's try to loosen the current settings a little bit and then see what kind of results we can actually get. Let's remove this one and this one and also this one. There we go. And now, accordingly, we see arbitrage opportunities, lots of trades. Again, you can monitor and see which trades are available. Some at 11%, 10, 4 or even 1%. There are different kinds of trades. You can monitor all of this and you don't have to do anything manually. The service immediately gives you a trade. You go to one exchange to buy short on another exchange and pocket the difference. It's all as simple as possible. Let's move on to the next tab. We'll also quickly go through the settings for the arbitrage screener. They're pretty much the same. The first setting is the exchanges where arbitrage opportunities will be tracked. You select the exchanges where you trade, where you have accounts. Next, again, we choose the whitelist the tokens you want to be displayed only, and the blacklist the tokens you don't want to be displayed. Minimum transaction, amount of much money you're willing to put into a trade. Minimum profit, maximum profit. Next, exchanges for buying, that is, the exchanges where you buy and the exchanges where you sell. Minimum lifetime, again, how long the trade lives in seconds. 
You can also select the network here. You choose the withdrawal network where you want to withdraw the token and then the deposit network where you want to deposit the token. So if you want to trade only on Solana for arbitrage, you select Solana Solana and that's it. Your withdrawal and deposit will both be on Solana. Maximum lifetime refers to how long a trade can exist at most. There's also a very convenient feature here on I haven't seen anywhere else, which is the withdrawal status. In other words, we can choose whether withdrawals are available and open or whether withdrawals are closed. Accordingly, if you want to do arbitrage, you need withdrawals to be available so you can withdraw the token. And it's the same with deposits, you can choose to have deposits open as well. We only see those trades where we can both withdraw and deposit the token on the exchange. This can also be specified here. In this setting, network compatibility determines whether we can withdraw the token on a specific network. For example, let's say there's a token that's available on two networks, Solana and BNB. We can withdraw it on Solana, but deposit it only on BNB. And such a trade doesn't work for us. We select network compatibility and we get a trade where we can withdraw from the Solana network to the Solana network. In other words, the trade will take place within the same network. And below we see ready-made trades displayed showing the profit we can earn, the volume, the exchange where we buy, the token name and the exchange where we sell. You can track all of this right here. The withdrawal networks are also shown. The fee is also indicated. It's very convenient that the fee is displayed, so you don't need to go to the exchange to check the fees shown right here. And you can immediately calculate your profit as well as see the exchanges where you can hedge this position. This is also extremely convenient. Detailed settings. After you've configured the settings, you can save the filters. You click save. Enter a name for your filters, save them, and next time you can apply these filters to find the deals that interest you. There's also a screener tab. Here you can set up notifications to your Telegram channel so you receive arbitrage signals. Click add and choose the name you want. Then proceed to the settings. We have exchanges that we monitor. For example, you can select all exchanges to track deals across all of them. You can also select all networks or specific networks that you are interested in arbitraging. You can also choose the deposit networks. For example, if you select the withdrawal network, you can also choose the same network for deposits. Or again, you can select all networks. Withdrawal status, whether withdrawals are available. Deposit, whether deposits are available or closed. Minimum profit, maximum profit, lifetime, and so on. Click save. You can also set a minimum transaction amount. You can add a whitelist, meaning tokens you are interested in. Blacklist tokens you are not interested in. Channel Telegram ID. How do you set up this feature? Let me show you. To set up signals in your Telegram channel, we go to Telegram accordingly. Click Create Channel, enter the channel name, and click Create. Next, select the private channel, because we want the signals to come only to us, and click Save. Click Skip, and our channel is created. Now we need to add bots here that will send us the signals. Click Administrator, then Add Administrator. Go to Arbitration Scanner and add these bots listed here to our channel. Click BAM, here is the bot, add it. Okay, give it all the check marks, all permissions, click save, and then add administrator and add the second bot. Again, go to arbitration scanner, copy this bot, go back, paste, add. Okay, check all the boxes, save, close. That's it. Now we have the bots. Now they'll send us our Telegram channel ID. This is our Telegram channel ID. Be sure to copy it with the minus sign. Take the whole thing, copy it with the minus sign, go over and paste it right here in this Telegram channel's ID field. And now based on the settings you've made here, you receive notifications in your Telegram channel. You can also choose how the notification will look. That is the symbol spread. Profit all of that will be displayed. Click save. That's it. Our settings are now saved. Now we'll receive notifications about different tokens on various exchanges directly in our Telegram channel. And we don't need to sit and monitor the website. We can just go about our business. Suddenly, bam, a notification comes in on Telegram. You open it and take a look. If you like the trade, you go in and make a profit. Very well done. I have never seen anything like this anywhere before. Then you can set all this up here. You can add different signals. That is, you can customize it for yourself. You can create several Telegram channels with different signals, with different exchanges, with different tokens. All this can be configured in detail here. Arbitration scanner. Here we also set up notifications for ourselves in Telegram. Click on add. Select the currency for which we want to receive notifications in our Telegram channel. For example, token, let's say Polygon, right? The exchange where we want to buy, for example, BingX, Bybit, and Binance. The exchange where we want to sell, let's also choose Binance, Bybit, BingX. Okay, we've selected the exchanges. Let's set the minimum profit to 0.5. The profit is specified in percent. Step notification allows you to set the notification interval. So if the price changes by, say, 1%, I get a notification that it's time to buy. You can also configure this here, Telegram channel ID. What we've set up can be sent directly to a single Telegram channel. All the signals can just go there. You enter the channel ID here. Next, we scroll down and choose how we want the trade to be displayed. There are already preset filters here. Symbol buy, which exchange to buy or sell on all of that is specified here. You can choose from ready-made templates or you can set up your own template. I'll show you how to do that now. Click save. Now, for the Polygon token, we'll receive notifications directly in our Telegram channel signals we've set up ourselves. By going to the notification examples tab, we can customize the appearance of the notification as we need. Click add, 
And here, everything's laid out regarding what you can customize. For example, the symbol you click on the symbol, then lifetime, and you'll see the symbol first, then the lifetime. All of these can be configured here. Everything is written in clear language here, so you can customize the notifications to your liking. Also, Arbitrage Scanner is available in several languages. These include English, Russian, and various other languages. So if it's more convenient for you, you can use Russian, English. Use this service in whichever language you speak. The next tab is the DEX Scanner. Here we can also set up notifications and signals directly to a Telegram channel. Click Add and enter a title. For example, a token that say Main F, any token at all, it doesn't matter. This will be the name of our signal. Next, select exchange. Choose the exchanges. For example, select all of them. Minimum profit. As soon as the profit reaches 0.5% for this token, you will receive a signal in the Telegram channel. Liquidity pool. What is that? We open the CoinGecko terminal and here we have liquidity pools for different tokens. For example, the Solana networklet. Go to the Solana network. And here we have tokens that are traded accordingly on Solana. And how do we get a liquidity pool? A pool well, like a link to the liquidity pool we need to find the token we're interested in. Since we specified MEF, let's find MEF. Here it is, main is a meme coin on Solana. We need to copy the link to the liquidity pool. Right here at the top, we take and copy the link, go back to Arbitrage Scanner, paste the link to the pool, and that's it. Now, based on this pool and the exchanges, arbitrage opportunities for this MEF token will be displayed. That is, we will buy on the DEX and sell on the CEX, or vice versa. And again, the Telegram channel ID when we created the channel, this is our ID, we take it and enter it here. You can set up the notification step, but I won't do that. And we choose how the signal will be displayed. Again, I'll select from the templates and click save. Everything was saved successfully. Now we have signals for the MEF token that will come directly from DEXs and SEXs to our Telegram channel. That is, we don't need to sit and monitor manually, it will all automatically come to Telegram. Very convenient. Also for arbitrage, those who are engaged in farming fannings, there is such a tab, it is absolutely free fanning rates. Go here. Here, fannings are displayed on all top exchanges. So you can farm fannings thanks to this tab. Go in, see where each fanning is, and collect negative fanning. Everything here is set up and displayed as conveniently as possible. And the last tab related to arbitrage is the supported exchange. Here you can see the exchanges where you can register, create an account by clicking the open button, and also receive a bonus described here. It shows when the exchange was created. It also lists the fees that the exchange charges you per transaction, and all of this is displayed here in the most convenient way possible. Now let's move on to subscriptions. By following the link in our channel's description, you can go to the Arbitrage Scanner website and get one day absolutely free to try it out. If you like it, you can continue using this service. They also offer subscriptions. Click on subscribe. I have the Platinum subscription, which is almost the highest tier. It costs a thousand bucks for three months. And what does it offer? You can read the description to see what it provides. Everything is displayed here and each subscription has its own advantages. That's why I chose Platinum, because it suits me personally. If another subscription works better for you, you can choose a different one. A one month trial subscription costs 69 bucks. The trial subscription for a month is 169. It's really a small amount compared to what you can earn thanks to this service. It automatically finds deals and sends you notifications according to your settings. And all of this is done with the highest quality, in a pleasant interface. And everything works perfectly because I've been using Arbitrage Scanner for a very long time. So if you're hesitant, you can get a try subscription for a month to try it out. If you like it, you can upgrade your subscription. Accordingly, you'll get access to more features that you can use to earn real cash through crypto arbitrage. In short, arbitrage scanner is like having cheat codes in the crypto world. Powerful, convenient, and they really give you an edge. If you want to find deals faster, actually make money, and not waste time searching manually, then use arbitrage scanner. The link is in our channel description. You also get one day for free. If you like it, go ahead and extend your subscription and earn real cash. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of useful content about crypto arbitrage. Leave your comment and we'll see you in the next videos. Good luck to everyone. Bye everyone.